Jamie, can I can I set can I paint a scene for you? I can imagine a big Louisiana house in the middle of nowhere, right? And then just grass with like a, a nice willow tree over there. And then like <laughs> then you've got the porch, right? Outside the, the porch. house. And then you've just got That's something you got a swing in seat, your yeah. front porch. And then she's got a, a rocking chair. And there's a tiny little lake or a pond just a little bit yonder. No, just like out there yonder. somewhere. No, no, Over yonder. And then you've just got this crawfish, <laughs> like in a bowl. And everyone's like, guys, come on, get your crawfish. Come on, get it. And the kids go, oh my God, mommy, I'm gonna go get my crawfish. And then they gotta go in and eat. And it's just, to me, it sounds like heaven. Y'all yeah, wanna know the funniest story? So like, you know, obviously we're from Louisiana. We love crawfish. My sister and all of us, we love crawfish so much, but she only wanted like the good crawfish. So. The company in Louisiana would have them overnighted in a like in a box for her no in an ice way. chest. Daddy would get the right kind, you know, it had to be the good kind, and he'd have them already boiled and sent over to her. And so she'd take them freezer ziplocs and she'd freeze them in her freezer. And even in Vegas, she'd have crawfish been there eating crawfish well, she <laughs> in the Elton John in suite. Vegas. We're up there like. Yeah. No. Like you can imagine, like the rednecks had done come to town. <laughs> it's like hilly bills, the hillbillies. The hillbillies. The Beverly Hillbillies, that's us. Huh. I really think I've made lifelong friends in here. I know everybody says that and it's very cliche, but I really, really have. I'm a pretty closed off person and these people I've let in fully. Being here has opened up a side of me that I just don't think I really, maybe I always had, but I just forgot about. I had a certain experience with me where I almost lost my oldest daughter, and she was, uh, she drowned, and we couldn't save her. We tried really hard. She was trapped under like a little side by side that we ride around our pond. This is in 2017, so she's eight or nine or something like that. Jamie Lynn really opened up, told us about the awful situation that happened to her where her daughter nearly drowned. It was, um, the worst situation any parent could ever go through. My father-in-law, my mother-in-law, me and my husband, we run to jump in to save her. And you kind of in that moment think, oh, this is not real, like she's gonna pop up. Like she's mm -hmm. like, this isn't real. I could feel her arm and I'm jerking it and I couldn't get her up because it's a pretty heavy machine. And so in that moment, you think, this is like, you know logically she's been underwater too long. Nobody can live if they've been underwater this long. You logically are thinking these things. Then you hear the sirens come and thank God my mother-in-law, first thing she did was call 911. She was caught in the safety netting. Oh my God. And so when they got there, she was not alive. And um, they took her from me and they incubated her. And then immediately, uh, she, I heard my mother-in-law, this is hard for I was sitting in the rocks after I'd thrown up on myself and everything, so the adrenaline, and then I heard her call my mom and say, uh, Lynn, we've lost, we've lost Maddie. And then the firefighter came over like three seconds later, was like, we got a pulse, we got a pulse. And then we, they airlifted her, we go find her at the hospital, it's a whole thing, you know, and she's hooked up on life support, breathing machines, all that. And so they come in, one of our priests threw their last rites. And, and when they did, she, her body physically sat up. Wow. Her spirit responded to it for whatever reason. And little by little every day, she was still on life, you know, all that for a few more days. And she got better and better every day and walked out of the hospital. Wow. And this has no repercussions. So that's when I became Catholic. For about five minutes, I thought I'd lost my daughter. Yeah. And then I was given the miracle of having her back. Most people and most parents in my position would give anything for that. Of course, you give yourself. You give, exactly. Yeah. So like for me, I think about it this way, like, how can I ever complain about anything ever again? I was given the biggest gift yeah, you could ever be given. Amazing. Yeah, so that's what, that I, really that's what I believe. Well done. You know what I mean? And my biggest fear was, is that she was gonna die thinking her mama wasn't trying to save her. Oh, oh man, babe, she didn't. No, 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 no. Oh, she's here now. I know, but if anything, it's just it's like, I never want to sit here and cry about it because honestly, I'm just thankful because that is not the case for 95% of people.